Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Michaela Barnhart. And for those of you not new here, then like I said, welcome back. Thank you for returning. I am super excited if you can't tell because in today's video we are, drum roll, headed back to the classroom. I know, a shock to everybody, probably not honestly at this point. I recently, literally, last, the end of last week, okay? Let me, let me just give you some time con some concept here today is I'm trying to look Monday July 15th it's around 8 something or 11 something in the morning um, but anyways today's Monday July 15th last Wednesday um, really it was like late Tuesday night I got a text from one of my old teammates that I taught with my very first year of teaching in second grade at the school I loved grade I loved team I loved everything about it um, that they were looking for another second grade teacher for the school year would I be interested that They've been trying to get me back on, all this stuff. And so I texted him back Wednesday morning, chatted up about it, kind of learned a little bit more about like why they were hiring, um, that kind of stuff. Obviously, I'm very familiar with second grade because I did teach that for a whole year. That was my first year. I'm familiar with that school because I did my internship and then teaching there. That team is amazing, all the things. But um, anyways, I decided Wednesday afternoon to apply for the position or well, it was like Wednesday lunchtime. By four o'clock Wednesday afternoon, I had gotten a phone call to see if I wanted to come in for like a meeting. They did not call it an interview. She said it was gonna be really informal. Um, so I went in on Thursday morning for that and it was awesome. They did not have any kind of interview questions. We all just sat around and chat. It was the old team and the new principal, um, which she knew me already. So it was really informal. We just chatted anyways. Thursday evening around six o'clock, I got the call. She offered me the job and I accepted. Um, so I am going back to be a second grade teacher this year in upstate South Carolina. I'm so excited. Technically, this is still like my second year of teaching because I did one full year in second grade. Then I left, um, had Gatlin, spent some time at home, did a little part-time work, went back into teaching and I taught up until last November, um, and then I quit. But technically that did not count as a full year, so I'm really still in my second year. So we're gonna say that I'm a second year, second grade teacher, upstate South Carolina, and I am so excited. So today we are actually going into the classroom. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I have no idea what I'm walking in on. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get rolling. All right guys, so this is coming into my classroom thought I would just kind of show you what we're working with right now um, and I'll kind of explain so obviously coming in the door kind of panning around for you and then over here we have the bathroom uh, if you guys were around when I taught second grade the first time then you guys know kind of how this room looks because I'm at the same school I'm literally just right across the hall um, so it's pretty much the exact same Try to move over here so that you can kind of see the full room while we chat. Um, but um, it's just flipped. I'm on the other side of the hallway now. So, and I have a corner room so that there's nobody right there. It's just outside, all the way around on this side, um, which is nice. But either way, this is my new room, which I'm super excited about. I'm really excited to be able to like really get started. But as you can tell, there's still a lot of things in here. Um, the teacher that is moving out, she taught when I was here um, first time incredible loved her um, but she is still in the process of getting her stuff out she has taken down like things off the wall and everything um, so the walls are pretty much a blank slate and a lot of like that stuff is all you know school curriculum stuff over there but um, obviously she still does have a lot of her own things in here she is going to teach middle school so I've been told that she's gonna be leaving some things um, in the room I just don't know what and I do know that she still has more to take it's not all of this um, she's not leaving this stuff so I am I think gonna pause at this point and go back to my house um, and work on like cutting laminating stuff like that like my alphabet all the things that I want to put up um, we brought in everything I have so all these totes right here and these bins on top and then these totes and those bins um, that's all of my stuff I just kind of stacked it up so that hopefully it's out of her way um, but yeah so I think I'm gonna pause I'll take you guys with me of course I'll show you all the cutting laminating everything I'm gonna do at home show you everything I'm printing as far as like the calendar alphabet all that good stuff and then 
hopefully maybe later on today um, I know she's coming back in today to get some more stuff so either later this afternoon or tomorrow I can come back up here and really be able to get started um, hopefully she'll have a little bit more moved out than what she's got right now but we will see um, either way it's not a big deal I have all week this week and then next week I have Monday Tuesday Wednesday before we have to be in here for meetings um, so I feel like I have plenty of time as long as baby does not come before then um, so fingers crossed he doesn't come and I can get everything set up before that happens um, but yeah so I'm gonna stop rambling and head on back to the house Alrighty, so I am back home now I am trying to start printing some things laminating cutting doing all the things so thought I would share what I've printed so far um, my kind of this is my stack of stuff that needs to be laminated and then what I still have to print after this so um, I just printed this thing it was a welcome to second grade I thought I could put it like right outside my door or on the door or something um, and I might still use it I cannot figure out though how to make it not cut off the line um, I've tried shrinking it down but it just looks funny um, so I don't know I, I might just cut the rest of the black line off and then laminate it and use it anyways um, and then I have our birthdays that's the big sign and then there's a little box for each month um, so I've got to get that laminated I have this is all stuff for the calendar so days of the week um, all of my little calendar pieces that stuff is in there um, these are for the clock because we do time in second grade um, so I've got to get those laminated and then I'm going to use these for my word wall um, just obviously as the label for the letters um, so I am going to laminate those as well and then I guess like I said we'll laminate this cut it we'll see what we can figure out um, but past that I'm gonna try to show you guys my computer screen hopefully it doesn't do those weird like lines um, which you guys are not gonna be able to see anything anyways I don't think um, I have all of these little folders over here on the side are still things I need to print so I'm just gonna kind of go through them right now and quickly send things to the printer and then I will prop you guys up and start showing you me you know cutting laminating all the things um, and getting this stuff done oh and I also just had a phone call with the teacher who is moving out of the room and she is completely moved out everything that's still in there she's leaving um, so I might try to go back up there in a little while and take some of the stuff that I can get laminated um, and just see if I can get anything else done before my daughter's appointment today
All right, guys, so I am back in my classroom now. Um, like I said, I was coming back to see because she is finished. Um, well, I don't know if I mentioned that. I know I mentioned that she was she called and said she was finished, so I'm back. I come to see kind of what the state of the room was now and definitely much more empty, much more cleared out, um, which is kind of a good thing and a bad thing, um, which I can chat around about in a second, but I thought I would just kind of show you guys what I'm working with now. So this stuff is stuff she left. Um, most of that's like curriculum, books, you know things of that nature obviously that stack is mine that stack is mine and the stuff on the table is mine um, she did leave some things in the cabinets not a ton but there is some things in there um, those belong to the school they are like level a level library for reading um, groups and then a lot of this stuff like these two totes and that stuff up there stuff that she's made um, for the most part some of it is stuff that belongs to the school but um, a lot of it is stuff that she's made same thing over here and then used throughout the years um, and then this little thing right now is where she was storing I guess their um, it looks like their handwriting books their math books science social studies all that kind of stuff um, which I actually really like that system so I'll probably keep that I don't know if I'll keep it right here um, I'll probably move it somewhere else but I like you know having that um, and then over here, of course, is all the kids' chairs for their desk. And then this is where she had her library, and she left all of it. Um, so if you guys are aware, though, <laughs> remember, I had a huge library myself. Like, I, I spent years going to garage sales and things like that well, before I graduated from college. And, I, I mean, I have a lot. That's three, There's three totes right there, and I have a huge tote at home of just seasonal books. Um and that's after I got rid of a lot, too. I sold a lot when I quit teaching last year. Um, but, so that's great. I mean, we'll add that and whatever. Um, but either way, definitely have a, plenty of books, so there's no books needed. Um, but at this point, I just don't know what to do because what I've got in here is it. I don't, we don't have anything else um, of my own. I got rid of a lot of my stuff when I quit teaching the last time because I really didn't think I was coming back. Um, but here we are, so... We're going to kind of be piecing it together, trying to make it work. Um, but I'm going to basically just put you guys down. I'm probably not even going to prop you up, honestly. I'm just going to spend some time walking around the room, looking through everything, and just trying to figure out what it is that I'm going to do. Um, I only have about an hour before I have to head to a doctor's appointment, and then the school will be closed by the time I get back. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is just link this video in with tomorrow when I come back um, with a fresh brain and everything. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to probably end up making the mess bigger, and we'll just see where we end up. All right, guys, so it is the next day now. It is now Tuesday, July 16th. It's actually, well, you can't see me. It's actually around like 1 o'clock already. I just got to the school. We had an interesting morning, um, but I'm going to flip you guys around, show you how I left the classroom yesterday, and kind of walk you through what my plan is for today, and hopefully we can start putting the, you know, the place together, because run out of time all right my camera battery died so i'm flipping to my phone um so i apologize if it looks a little bit different um but anyways to show you guys what i did yesterday i took everything off of these bookshelves um and like that thing everything she had stacked up pretty much and put over here so all of this is stuff that she left um now a lot of it is curriculum like pretty much from there down is curriculum um, and then the rest of that is, a, I mean, obviously it's a mix of things the school owns versus things that she left. Most of it is stuff that she had created or like found on TBT over the years and printed. Um, because, excuse me, she is going to middle school. She didn't have a use for a lot of the second grade specific things. So, um, but yeah, so that's all that. This is all everything that I've brought and just kind of dumped out right here. And then of course my stuff is in the totes and everything over there still as well. Um, but I just basically yesterday tried to consolidate everything. I also looked through all the cabinets and kind of emptied those out. Um, so it's not really looking any different at this point. Um, on the back right here behind me, I'm trying to have a little, sorry, not give you guys with flash. I'm having a little uh, vending, machine, vending machine lunch. Um, I cleaned out all of the cabinets and put what she had left right here. So I need to go through all of that and decide like what I'm gonna keep or what I can get rid of and give away. Um, but other than that, this is kind of what we're working with. So my plan for today is I brought everything that I had like printed out, so like my alphabet, 
calendar, all of that stuff. So I think I'm going to start hanging some of that up, at least like the alphabet, because I know I'm gonna put that up there. I have my little circles to go around the clock. Um, I'm gonna make this up here my word wall. So I will put my letters up here at some point. I might not today, because obviously I can't stand on this now that I've covered it. Um, but I might try to tackle that today. I don't know, it just depends on how long everything else takes. And then, excuse me, my voice just made a really weird sound. <laughs> um, I have our little birthday, I can't figure out where my finger is, that, so I'm gonna probably try to find somewhere for it. Um, I think I'm gonna use these. I used these in the last time I taught second grade, which was pretty much like I was saying yesterday, the same classroom, just flipped to the other side of the hallway. Um, I use that for like wow work because I do have the little staple board there. Um, you guys can't even see what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, guys. Um, so I'll probably use that for that. But that being said, I might put my birthdays like on one of these longer doors back here. We also at home, um, this was not bought for this project, but we have a ton of this white, like just plain white contact paper. Um, I have three full rolls of this left. We ended up putting this inside of our drawers, just like they have in the picture. Um, but I might try to use that to cover some of these doors just to try to make them look a little bit prettier. Um, and then I could put border around the edge if I wanted to. Haven't fully decided on that yet, um, but that is the plan. I also sat down last night and created a Amazon wish list for things like bulletin board paper and border, um, just things that I knew I would need or things that I had gotten rid of um, or things that broke in the past, like my tendril car, I put one of those on there because mine broke last year when I was teaching kindergarten, um, like past being able to be fixed broke. <laughs> um, and so, I did start one of those, um, which I will link it down below if anybody would like to see it. But a lot of people from my community pitched in last night and bought a ton of it. So it's almost completely empty at this point, which is amazing. Um, I think I have like some clipboards for the kids left, scissors for the kids, crayon boxes for the kids, um, like the little plastic ones. And then maybe like the tendril cart is on there. I don't know. There's a few, few things left, but there's not much. It's almost got cleared, which is crazy because I've never had a list actually be cleared before. So I'm really excited for the potential there. Um, either way though, obviously I can't do bulletin boards or any of that yet until that paper comes. Um, so it's been ordered. I don't know when it will be here because obviously I did not order it. Um, so we're just kind of hanging tight until it comes in the border. I only have the one bulletin board and then the rest of that's whiteboard and then that's it. Um, so we'll cover that one and then I have one in the hallway to do. Uh, when I taught second grade, I did a lot of like little makeshift bulletin boards. So like I had one up on the wall over here, um, but I never ended up using them because I, they weren't functional since they didn't have a cork board behind it. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna do that again this year. I also had used bulletin board paper last time to cover these doors, these long doors right here. Um, but like I said, I have the contact paper and I think that would look better throughout the year that bulletin border or that the bulletin board paper just started to look really rough. So I don't know if I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'm definitely not gonna do bulletin board paper. I'll try the contact paper and see how that works. But um, I'm gonna stop jabbing. I'm gonna eat my little lunch real quick and then we are going to get started.
All right, I don't know how well you guys could see, but I got this door done with the contact paper and I actually really like how it looks. It has a very like smooth finish. Um, and it wasn't super hard, the hardest part, and I, I didn't film me doing this. Right here, there's a seam. I had to piece together just this little piece. And then of course, getting around that. And I also covered up my little lock. Um, so Jeremiah said that he would try to bring like a little razor blade up here and we can cut it back out. Um, but I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not hating how it looks. I definitely messed up right here, but honestly, I'm going to put border on it. So that's going to cover some of that. And then, you know, the rest we'll just live with, but it did take a while. And it's definitely one of those tasks that I don't want to do again, but I feel like if I don't do the other two doors, it looks funny. So I'm going to go ahead and use what I have, which I don't think it's not def definitely not enough to do both doors. Um, but I'm going to see how far I can get with what I have, um, for today. And then I can bring the rest in from home. I didn't bring it all with me because I didn't think, I didn't know if I would actually like how it looked or anything. So, um, but we're going to do that. And then I think my other thing I want to tackle today is setting up the library area over here. Um, she left all of these books. So I'm going to go through them, um, or at least start going through them and just kind of seeing what she's got over here and adding my stuff, um, and kind of making this my little space. Alrighty guys, so I know you guys just watched me go through all the books that she had on this thing. So I haven't even cracked mine open yet. Um, and I basically made three like categories. So these three stacks are things that I'm going to see if anybody else would want. Uh, if push comes to shove and nobody wants them or just run out of time or something, then I'll add them to the shelf and we'll revisit later. Um, but that was that. These were the ones I looked through and I was like, yeah, I definitely want to keep those. So I put them back on the shelf. And then these over here are seasonal books, um, which I put out like as we get to that season or that holiday. Um, so that is kind of where I'm at now. Um, she had these few little bins up here, which I took out. I think my goal, um, because I have some chapter books, like I have the Judy B. Jones series, Magic Treehouse, stuff like that, that by the end of the year and even at the beginning of the year, I may have some that can read. Um, so... I am planning to use those top two rows with those bins, those are mine, to do chapter books, um, which I'm going to get out in just a second and try to finish this project today. But um, I'm going to leave all of this down here open for just picture books, and I'm not even going to put them in bins. Um, main reason, because I don't have bins. But I was really thinking about it, and honestly, I kind of like this a lot better because I don't have to worry about them. Like, I don't have to stress about trying to make sure that when they turn a book in, it gets put back in the right spot or anything. If it's a picture book, it can just go anywhere on the bottom two rows. Um, and that's that, you know, so I'm okay with that. I probably will have somebody still at the end of the day, like come over here and tidy up to make sure that like nothing, no books are falling through the back. Um, which she has like some poster board back there, but it's not quite big enough for all of it. Um, and some of it's kind of like falling off, but, um, I also have somebody come tidy up and like empty out any like books that have been returned and just put them back on the shelf. Um, now up there, I probably will keep it pretty organized. Like I'll have a box of just Junie B. Jones, a box of just Magic Treehouse, but I feel like that's a little bit easier to um, figure out and put back than just picture books. So that's kind of my goal here. Um, so I'm going to get out what I have at this point and see how many more shelves this fills up. I really just want to fill up the whole two rows. So if I have to, I'll put some of these back. Um, these aren't like terrible books. These are books that I have copies of already. Um, or there was like five or six copies in here, um, like in her library already. And so I just felt like there was no need to keep all of them. But 
for the sake of how it looks and having all of them all of the shelves full i may put them back um, but i'll prop you guys up and show you as i start getting my own books out i'm probably going to have to run back and forth because i can't carry the tote over here um, but i definitely want to get this done today Alrighty guys, so I wanted to give you an overview of what the classroom is looking like now. I'm trying to step back here where I'm going to be in a corner. Um, but anyways, you guys just saw I put up the alphabet. I love how it looks. It looks super cute actually. Like now standing back here looking at it, I really like it. Um, I definitely think it's not quite the most level, but it's okay. I'm not redoing it. Um, so you guys saw me hang that up. Other than that, um, the biggest thing I tackled today was the library, which you guys saw bits and pieces. Um, you guys did see me hang up this stuff for our birthdays. That's how the library is looking right now. Um, I may, just for the sake of my own happiness, <laughs> take this tote or this one book bin out um, and just put those right there. But um, the ones that are in book bins are like series that I have a bunch of like that book. Um, but I'm probably going to do that anyways, just because that makes me happier. So the bottom two rows are picture books, then chapter books and chapter books and bins at the top. All of those I still need to deal with. That's all holiday or like seasonal, like springtime, whatever. They're that size kind of books. So, um, and I have my own to add to that. So I've got to figure out how I'm going to store those. I don't have any actual book bins, uh, like the tall book bins. I would love, love, love some of those. They're on my Amazon wish list, but no one has gotten them yet, which is not a big deal. Um, but it's just not in the budget for me right now. <laughs> so anyways, so that is that. Um, the only other thing I did was I did pile up the stuff I'm going to give away on the kidney table. And then everything else is just pretty much how it was earlier. So I think I'm about to go ahead and get out of here. Let me flip you guys around really quick. All right, so like I was saying, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here for the day. It's around four o'clock now. Um, it's actually a little after four, so I need to go get Gatlin, dinner, you know, evenings, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I think I'm gonna hop out right now. Um, I'm not gonna take anything with me. I think I've pretty much got everything printed at this point. If I end up getting a 10 drawer cart, then I'll need to print um, like labels for that. But that's about it at this point. Um, so I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'm definitely going to pick up with another like part two of this. Um, I, I'll probably try to just do it in two parts because I don't have a lot of stuff um, of my own that I'm like setting up or anything. And like I said, a lot of this, I'm just having to kind of wait until things come in the mail, like the bulletin board paper and stuff. I could have done that today, but I just don't have it yet. Um, I'll bring more contact paper in tomorrow and finish up the doors. Um, for sure and then as things come in I'll just be able to come in and you know do them like I said I have 
all week this week. They did email and say the building is going to be open all weekend as well. Um, so if I needed to come up here, then I could. And then I'll have Monday through Wednesday of next week. Um, for the most part, I do have a few doctor's appointments and like a dentist appointment. But um, I can come back up here those days as well. Um, I think tonight we're going to go get um, my mini fridge, my microwave, uh, my little desk thing that I had. It's like a small tiny little desk. Um, I'll use it for something. So we're going to get that stuff um, tonight and bring it up here in the morning. <laughs> I'm trying to think I'm tired. Um, and while we're here unloading all that and Jeremiah's helping me place those things, then I'm going to probably have him try to help me configure something. <laughs> I don't really know, honestly. Um, there's not, sorry, there's not a ton of furniture in here. Um, so with that being said, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Um, I did request for a teacher chair. My mom bought me a chair, so that'll be perfect. I'll have one, like a nice one for my desk and then one for my small group area or vice versa. Um, there's a few bookshelves in here that I'll move around, but for the most part, it's going to be pretty empty in here, I do believe, um, which is fine. It's not a big deal, but Anyways, I'm going to stop babbling because that's pretty much all I'm doing at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or anything, then definitely leave them down below. And I will see you guys in part two. All right. Bye, guys.